I already got one of the many USB testers. I'm not going to go through all the tests. Actually, because I don't know all the tests can do. And the manual uh, is not of that great use. However, we can see this does a lot of things. Like, I want to test if the output on this backup battery is uh, good. Let's show we got a 5 volt coming out of it. Let's try the other port. 5 volt. Assume that's the same. Let's see. Try this one. 5.1. I see a bunch of my batteries. The, the junkier ones have a lower voltage. So 5.1. 5.1. So junk here, this is your typical piece of crap that's sitting in the checkout aisle of Walmart. This would be in the back of electronics. It's a pocket juice. This is a black web. This is interesting. Uh, this is your, there's 5-1. This is your 1 amp port. And then this one is your 2 amp port. 5-0. Maybe, I don't believe this is 2 amperes, maybe 2.1 amperes. Uh, I don't know. I know this This is uh, my best one. That's why it's all beat looking. I use it for everything. All right, so let's see. I think this one is dead. So we'll try charging that in a second. Maybe we can go over to this puppy. Over here, we could test the ports here. Five ohm. We could test this 12 volt output, even though this says it's only five. This says it's an out, but watch this. I got 11.2 coming out of that port. So that's pretty cool. I don't think anything's going to be coming here. Yeah, because that's, that's an in. Alright, so that, that's cool. Then we can do... Um, like a charging test. Got five volts coming out, and then we want to let's go charge. Check the charging current on this. Of course, this is a real piece of crap. On this is an on battery. These things were real garbage. I made a, I made a ton of money off a lawsuit with those because they lie about what batteries are in there, and they got sued. So this is saying it's it's barely charging, which is insane. They are crap. It is saying it's charging. Uh, you can't see it because it's it's blinking blue. I think you can kind of see it now. But anyway, we see it's charging at a low rate of speed. Um, we could try a different port. Point seven amp. Okay, go over here to your two point oh port. Uh, same thing. Go to the other port. Let's try this one. I think it's just, I don't know if this is like, because it's at zero, it's not drawing as high as a current. I really don't know what's going on with that. So let's go over here to a charging. What do we have, 99 on this one? Let's go charging this. Oh, 1.7 amp. Look at that. Ooh. So we do know this cable and we know they can handle it. So we're at 9 watts. Let's try this port. 1.7 amp. Uh, let's try these. See if they'll get up to 1.7. 
because I'll get over get over an amp. That's cool. Let's try this one here. Six. Let's try this. See if this will go to two or higher. Interesting. So yeah, there's a lot of things that you could do with this thing. I haven't figured this out. It's, it's blinking that it has Bluetooth, but I haven't found the app that actually works with that. Maybe if I do find it. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then there's something like this is a, a drain thing. Attention to the Scald. Do we know who the Scald is? Electric heat. So these are the current discharge aging load. So these are um thing. I think if I... I could plug this over here. Let's see what these settings say. 4.7 ohm. 4.7 ohm on off. All right. So the, what this is going to do, it's going to do a maximum load on this. The load's going to go into these resistors, and they're going to get hot. It's not showing you draw. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Two amps out. Let's see. Oh, they are getting hot. So that's that that's getting two two point seven amps out. Wow. Let's see if both ports will do that. Two point seven. Alright, let's let's check out the crap aisle one. Two point six. Alright. Let's see. Now technically I know this one is only a one amp. That should not get that high. Let's see if it goes. Oh, I see. Because it's drawn, let's let's cut one of the, cut this down to one amp. The port didn't turn on. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. So this this one appear this battery appears to have protection. It will not if it, the draw is two amps, it won't turn on the port. So that's cool. So we're at the one amp, and then let's turn this one on. Two point eight five amp. That's really cool. That's cool to see that. And we are we are a um, we're attention to the scald. Uh, so that's a good way to test if your thing will do two amps out. So we'll bump that up half and bump it here. Oh, that was already at the two, huh? Two point seven. Interesting. So it appears this one is appears this one could be dangerous that the output is always going to be two amp. All right, now I just turned on the top one. Okay, I see. So that's one amp. Turn on two amp. So what happens because we turned that off that didn't draw? Anyway, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool if you do a lot of testing and you want to check it and you got your alligator clip type things with you got male, female. I think it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I forgot how much I paid, but it was it wasn't extreme, so it was pretty much worth it. Oh, that turned off because I have no draw. 